Hi everyone, this is Vlad Akhtirsky from tech-va.com. Today I will show you our tools to automate your 2D workflows for visual effects production. Before everyone can see the final version of the movie, it goes through lots of different stages and on some of the stages we only need quick and draft quality of green screen extractions, blue screen extractions, quality of the CGI, etc. But we concentrate today about keying blue screens or green screens. And there's a lot of utilization inside the company. It's for backplays for 3D software, slab comps, stamp deliveries, director screenings, post visualizations. That's why we need to pull the key at least once with really quick and rough quality. And it takes 20, 30 minutes per task per artist uh, sometimes to pull the key, to remove some markers, etc. But if you think about the sequence amount of work, that's quite a lot. At techdashway.com we believe that quick and dirty keying needs to be done with a press of a button. Let me show you an example of our results in quality. By the way, by the way, you can review this particular footage online on our YouTube channel for quality reviews, etc. Machine learning known for working well with tasks what they know and not super work working well with uh, tasks what they don't know. We took care about this and what we included as well within the care is the training process. Based on our algorithm we built it, we provided an option to train algorithm again based on our knowledge to the desired quality and desired amount of details. This is one of the one of the best examples of how far we can push those technologies. This is okay. It will pull the key for you. You can put it in. But if you want to keep the details and you want to extract more information, you either can do it by hand or you can train. And if you have way more shots like this, you can apply the same knowledge you learn from it and create a new training set. That's what we just did. I know the settings will work well, but let's adjust them a little bit so we can just... Uh, Maybe reduce a little bit of the noise. You can try to remove a little bit more. Bring back some of the details. You got it, right? We can adjust it. We can get some values. And now what we can do is just press another button and create a train set. And now you can start training. Those shots never been in training set and you can see they're slightly different they have some different values some different lighting conditions exposures etc so we can try to apply this knowledge with what we just learned from one shot to the rest of the shots I just updated the project name to the recent one what we just created let's have a look at the quality what we start receiving I will compare it to you with our default algorithm we still does the work. It's not as accurate as we just adjusted for the specific needs of those type of shots. You can create a garbage mat from this and then include it with com combine it with uh, with a better uh, or desired quality, as you wish. Let me show you another one example which is dissimilar from what we've just seen and uh, see if that's going to work. On our default algorithm, which I know for sure it works, but what we can do is we actually can improve quality of decay, extract a little bit more motion blur, bring back some hair details, and as you can see, that's the difference between two results. But what if you need to apply it to lots of shots? Well, you need just to be able to press a button either in live nuke session or on the farm. What I want to show you is this is the sequence I filmed for this presentation. As you can see, it's a lots of lots of green screens here uh, with different exposures, different shutter speed, different lighting conditions, etc. And we will be running this on our default algorithm. And that's a presentation of the speed. How, how fast you can get those results. So now, think about 
This knowledge you can apply to the sequences you work on. And pull decay quickly for quick and dirty work. This can be executed on a render farm. It can be executed on a local machine. You can use a command line. And also works in Nuke and Nuke X sessions. Well, whilst it's pulling the key, uh, I will tell you and update you on what what will happen really soon. So at the moment we we released two tools. It's vAlpha Predict and vAlpha Train. In the really near future, we will be releasing tools to remove markers and some other exciting uh, some other exciting instruments. We will update you as soon as we have something for you guys. Please send us an email at info at tech vcom for more information. Please request trial. Send us an email at info at tech vcom Go to the website tech vcom Give us your feedback. We're happy to answer any questions. Whilst I was talking, the machine was working. And that's what I like about it. Let's have a look at the quality and the final results. For this stage. Now this shots looks like they done. Well, thank you very much for watching. Think again about sequence work after you know about automations and how easy it is to apply them utilizing tech-va.com tools.